everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm your instructor Joy. Let me first play a tune for you. This was beginning of Kreutzer, Kreutzer study, Kreutzer etude number 13. With this study, we are going to talk about how to work efficiently with our body when it comes to difficult over three or four string crossings in fast four strokes. So um, I see a lot of um, violins working very hard when it comes to fast passages and often when it comes to um, intermediate to advanced level repertoire, we have to work over three or four strings. Um, but a lot of us spend a lot of time working on those and trying to get the notes right, but often we fail to understand to work with our own body. I'm gonna just put my violin down and say, so we are very busy um, knowing that you know we have to go G, D, A string, so we have to adjust the different height of the right arm. We're very busy working on the fingering, right? We get the intonation, the right pitch, working, spending a lot of time, which is great. But I find it often, a lot of violins forget um, you actually have to work with your own body. Your body can be a part of an instrument. So when it comes to playing a special four string, there are two things I'd like to mention to make your fast string crossings easier by just understanding to work with your own body, which can be a very, very helpful. So now, when we play G string, we have to raise our elbow higher. But instead of just raising our elbow higher, learn to tilt our violin. So meaning, so when I play G string, I have to raise my elbow much higher. But a lot of students keep the violin still the same degree. And they work a lot with the right arm like that. Which is not impossible, but basically you're working just with one arm. Instead, I suggest that you work with both hands or both part of your arm. So you do have to raise your right elbow height depending on what string. That's good. But learn to um, adjust the degree of the tiltness of the violin. So when you're playing G string, just by simply sticking your shoulder forward, you can tilt your violin. When you watch a lot of great masters, they do that all the time. Just simply just sticking your shoulder forward like that. You can push a violin, therefore the violin degrees becomes from flat to toughness, which means for us, we have to raise right elbow less. If we keep the, the degree of the violin same, I have to raise my elbow this much to reach the G string. But if I know how to adjust the degree of the violin, I can just simply tilt the violin, pushing my forward, shoulder forward, then I can adjust, uh, raise my right elbow less, which is less work for the right hand. The reverse happens. So now, when I play E string, I have I can lower my elbow, which is we first learn. But by sticking your chest out, by, when you stick your chest upwards like that, you can flatten your violin. You see high fats doing that a lot. So almost so, you almost um, put your back backwards like that. Yeah, it's just opening your chest up by doing that. You flatten your violin, which means you have to lower your right elbow less. Which means the degrees from G to E string are smaller. Or E, G to A string. Especially when it comes... It's easier when I tilt my violin by pushing my shoulder up when I play G string. And then start flattening your violin, simply loosening my shoulder and sticking my chest out a bit. So I only adjust a tiny bit elbow. Then tilt it again. Yeah? So like it, learn to work with both arms, not just with the right arm. It's nothing wrong of understanding the different height of the right elbow, but when it comes to difficult uh, repertoire or difficult fast passages, one is crucially important that we have to know to work with a minimum of energy spent. 
because concertos go 30, 40, sometimes 50 minutes long. You have to know how to um, reserve your energy. You have to know how to play difficult passages with a minimum of work. That starts off knowing or understanding how to work with your own body. The first one, learn to uh, adjust the tiltness or different degrees of the violin by sticking your shoulder forward for the G string so you can access better and then sticking your chest up so that you can flatten your violin to, to access E string better. Another one, when it comes to string crossing for multiple strings from G to A, instead of keeping violin one way and then moving your arm out or down, up, down, up, try to work with the both hands again. So when your bow is at the frog, when your hand is center, bring your violin to the center. When you go downwards, when your bow is at the tip, bring your violin to the left. Again, reverse. By doing that, I'm just putting my violin now. By doing that, you're working your both hands together. So therefore, right hand job becomes smaller because you're sharing with the left hand. And it's not too hard for the left hand to help. Simply bring your violin to the center when you're at the frog, bring your violin to your left when you're at the tip. So it goes like this. So when you're playing G string or when you're at the frog, bring your violin slightly to simply bring your violin to the center. Then as you go towards the middle or tip even, then bring your violin to your left. So to help the job of the right hand. Therefore, the right hand has a little more energy left for the, whatever the next upcoming technique, yeah? So, violin center at the front. When you're at the tip, the violin is on the left, uh, on the left side of your left side, and then reverse. Of course, we don't move this extreme level, this extreme distance, but when you look at this, when watch carefully, um, great violin is playing. They're, they know how to work with their body. Perman does that very well. So bring your violin to the center, violin really tilted, and then flatten your violin, and the violin is slightly to your left. Then bring your violin from the left to your from your left to the center as you tilt it. Violin tilted from the center to your left. On and on like that. So, this sometimes does not even need a violin. You just sometimes think about it, how you can make this difficult technique easier by just working, using your own body as a part of the instrument. Yeah? I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and please take care of yourself and stay well. Hope to see you again. Bye-bye.